Hi, I'm going to show you how to make this ruffle diaper cover. I use medium worsted pink and white yarn and an H hook. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, to get started, you're going to chain slip knot onto your hook and then work 47 chains. So yarn over, pull through your loop and work 47. So continue on until you have 47 chains. Okay, so now you have 47 chains and in the second chain from the hook, one, two, you're going to work a single crochet and a single crochet in each chain across. So each chain gets a single crochet. So work that until the end. Okay, so now you're going to chain two and turn your work and then double crochet in each stitch across. So in that same stitch as your chain two, work your double crochet. Pull through two loops and then pull through two loops for your double. And then just work one, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops for a double, and then work one double in each stitch across. So each stitch gets a double crochet. You'll have 46 double crochet across. Work that till the end. Okay, now you're going to chain one, turn, and single crochet in each stitch across. So each stitch gets a single crochet until the end. So single crochet until the very end and you'll have 46 single crochet. So you're at the end, you're going to turn your work and the next 12 stitches you're going to slip stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And then you're going to chain two, one, two, double crochet in that same stitch, double crochet in the next 24. So one, two, three, four, So continue on to the next 24, so I have four, work 24 across, and then stop. Okay, so you did your 24 double crochet. There'll be 11 stitches unworked. Then you're going to chain one, turn, and then in each stitch across, you're going to work one single crochet. So you do your chain one and then single crochet across. And so work one single crochet until the end here. This is on words, so just stop here across. And each double crochet gets one single crochet. 
Okay, so you're going to turn your work after your single crochet, chain two, and then in each back loop, you're going to work a double crochet. So each back loop gets one double crochet. So double crochet across. the end until right here. Okay, so now you're going to chain one and single crochet in each stitch across. So work a single crochet until the end here. Okay, so now you're going to chain two and turn and you're going to work two. So here's your one stitch and then you're going to go to your next stitch, stitch and work two double crochet together in the back loops. So pull through two loops, leave two on the hook, go to the next, grab the yarn, pull through two, leave three loops on the hook. That's two double crochet together and then in the next 20 stitches you're going to work 20 double crochet. So that's one and then two and then work 20 across and then at the end you're going to do two double crochet together and I'll show you how to do that next. Okay so you did 20 double crochet in the back loops. Now you're going to do two double crochet at the end together. So pull through two, leave two on the hook, go to the last stitch, pull through two, and then pull through all three loops for two double crochet together. Now you're going to chain one, turn, and in each stitch across you're going to do single crochet. So single crochet all the way to the end here. Now you're going to chain two and you have 22 stitches so you'll work two together, two together, and then 18 across. Okay, so in the same stitch as your chain two in the back loop, you're going to work two together, pull through two, leave two on the the hook, go to the next stitch, work, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all three loops for your two together, and then you're going to work in the back loops, double crochet in the next 18, one, two, three, and then work all the way until you have two left, and I'll show you how to do two together here again. Okay, so you have 18 and now you're going to do two double crochet together, pull through two loops, leave two on the hook, and the last back loop, pull through two loops, pull through all three loops, chain one and turn. And then in each back, or sorry, in both loops, you're going to single crochet in each stitch across, single crochet until the end. Okay, you're at the end and you're going to chain two and double crochet in that same stitch. Pull through two, leave two on the hook. This is two double crochet together. Pull through two, leave two, uh, or pull, yarn over and pull through all three loops for your two double crochet together. And then you're going to double crochet in the back loops for the next 16. So one, two, three, 
and then continue until you get to 16 and you'll do the two together. I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, you're at the end. You're going to do two in the back loops together. One, pull through two loops, leave two on the hook. Pull through two loops, leave three loops on the hook. And then you're going to chain one and you're going to single crochet two together, leave two on the hook loops, go to the next stitch, grab that yarn, pull through all three loops, that's two single crochet together, and then you're going to single crochet in the next 14, so one, two, three, work all the way down till you get to 14, and then you'll do two together single crochet, Okay, you're going to do two together at the end, and then two together in this last one. Pull through all three loops for two single crochet together. Chain two, turn your work. In that same stitch in the back loop, you're going to do two together double crochet, pull through two loops, leave two on the hook, go to the next one. Pull through two loops and then pull through all three loops, two together, double crochet, and then in the back loops you're going to work double crochet in the next 12. So 12. And then until you get to here, you're going to work two double crochet together at the end. Okay, at the end here, you're going to do two together double crochet in the back loops and then chain one then single crochet together two one and then two and then single crochet in the next ten one two three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then two together in the end, one, and then two, and then work two double crochet, double crochet in each stitch across. So work that all the way to the end here. Double crochet. Okay, so now you're going to chain one. You did just double crochet here, but no more uh, decreases. Now you're going to single crochet across until the end. Okay, and then you're going to chain two and work a double crochet in each stitch across again. So this is row, so you're just going to work double crochets across. And it's starting to come together. This is the top, this is the bottom, and so I did 18 run row 18. So you need to do rows 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So since you're on 18 and I just showed you, I'm not going to keep showing you the same. Basically it's the same pattern across. So you're going to alternate. So after 18 you're going to do 19 chain one single crochet and then chain two double crochet. Since you're on 18, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 more rows after row 18 of alternating. So single, double, single, double, single, double, single, double. So do 8 more rows. 
and once you get there I'll show you how to slip stitch and single crochet around and then we'll start the ruffles. Um, the pattern is listed down below if you need to take a quick look but this is just the same pattern back and forth. There's no more decreases, it's just alternating between the two. So get to row 27, do 26, and then get to 27, and I'll show you how to do this part here. Okay, so you're at the end here, and this is the part where you're just going to go around the whole, and di around the whole diaper cover, and you're just gonna work slip stitches. So about half inch, apart work slip stitches just like this so each around gets a slip stitch so it's going to start looking like this and you're going to go all the way around all the way up here all the way on this side all the way down and back over to the beginning where you started so do that for the next step okay so you're at the end of slip stitching around the entire diaper and you're going to chain one and pull and then you can take your yarn needle and weave in ends Do that about three times. And cut your yarn. Now we're going to start on the ruffles. You have your one side with the back loop ridge. This side, there's no ridge. So you're going to go on the ridge part about sixth row down and you're going to start right into the ridge which is your back loop. You created the back loop so you can do your ruffles. In each row you're going to take your new yarn with your H hook, slip stitch, and then you're going to chain two. That counts as your first stitch. And you're going to work in your back loop a double crochet and then another double crochet. And then in the next back loop, you're gonna work three double crochet. So one, two, three. And then the next back loop and each back loop across, you're gonna work three double crochet in each back loop. So that's how you do your ruffles. So in each back loop in this row, work three double crochet until the end. And then you're going to go to this next row of back loops and work the same way, the same way, the same way until you're done with this back loop. So you should have like one, two, three, four, five sets of back loops or ruffles in each back loop. So continue that on to the end. I'll show you how to finish off. Okay, so you did one row and you're going to yarn over, pull through. And then you have your one row of your ruffle. And then you're going to take your yarn needle Each end after you're done, you can just take your yarn needle and weave in your ends right in the back about three different times right into the double crochet so you can it secures it and it hides it. This is how you do all the ruffles. Just continue on the same way you do this row and this is how you make the diaper cover.
And then you just weave in the rest. Now in the front, the way I did it was I sewed on one button. The button was about an inch in diameter, but you can have it a little bit bigger if you need it. But you don't want it too big because it's basically going to be fitting into this double crochet. So I just did it. I sewed on the button right in the center. Um, I don't have a button right now, but I just sewed it right in the center. And then I took the double crochet hole and fastened it right around that button and then also the same way on the top. Or you can take two buttons, one here and one here, and have these ends meet. You don't want it too loose because you want it to fit around the baby's waist. So you can have the button here in the center and just have it fold over. I know when I have it right in the center and then I have these two meet together slightly over, then it fits around the baby. And then in my link, I'll post a uh, um, I'm going to look it up real quick, but um, the waist size of the baby just so it's not going to be too snug. But I know I've made these before where they fit. So this is how you make the diaper cover. Um, the links are down below. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.